Hey saxophones, this is the tutorial for one octave scale number six, which is concert C, your A scale. So let's take a look. We've got our first note is A, you should know that one, one and two. Then we go to B, first finger. Then we go to C sharp, okay? Hopefully you remember that, the C sharp is no fingers at all, okay? Then we go to D, so we add our octave key and all six fingers, octave key, one, two, three, four, five, six. To go to E natural, all we need to do is lift up one finger. So we've got D going on, and then we lift a finger for E, okay? Easy. After we go to E, we're gonna go to F sharp up high. So here's our F sharp, same fingering as the low F sharp, octave key, one, two, three, and the fifth finger. Then we go to G sharp. Now this note right here is probably gonna be your most critical note of the scale. Okay, the second to the top one in these sharp scales, usually you need to watch out for. That is G sharp, which we find right here, G sharp, and we've got octave key, one, two, three, and then the G sharp key, which is this one right here. We've got our pinky pad, this is the one on the very top. So our G is gonna have octave key, one, two, three, and then we press this down. Now when we press that down, this key in the middle should lift up. If it doesn't, it might be stuck, and you need to ask your director for help getting that unstuck. But that's uh, with the G sharp, sometimes we call that the buddy key because this finger is really close to the other fingers, so buddy key, G sharp, I don't know, or you can just call it the G sharp key. Okay, all right, so then we go to the top note, which is A, same as the name as the bottom note, and same fingering too, except with the octave key. So here's our A, first ledger line above the staff, octave one and two. So we're gonna play that scale going forwards and then going backwards in half note to check to see if we have the right notes. Here we go. One, two. over to the one octave side we pass off version and we're looking down here on number six we've got those three sharps on the side so you may want to take your pencil and again mark a C a sharp in front of the C maybe a sharp in front of the F sharp and then most critically the sharp to the left of that G so we make it G sharp at the top you might want to put that sharp over here on the way down too, along with the F sharp and possibly the C sharp on the arpeggio the sharp you could put next to that C, but that's the only sharp you have to worry about is that second note. Okay, let's play this. Make sure you remember to slur on the way down. All right. And one, two, 